Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And it's a, just a quick episode today. We got our usual updates, actually, every two weeks now. It used to be every week, but this is actually a pretty good update because it adds a few more conveyor-related parts and a few things that some people uh, have been asking for, and the devs have listened. Uh, I was actually going to go with my idea. We're just use the conveyor connectors to go through a wall, and they are kind of bulky, but we do now have... There we go, yes. We have we have three different parts. We have, let's, let's actually make this a color we can see a little bit better here. Uh, let's go with red, why not? So we have uh, ceiling panels now. The ceiling panel has a conveyor port in it. So that allows you to go through uh, floors or ceilings going up and down with conveyor pi pipes. We also do have the, a short inner wall version of it. So as you can see it there. Go ahead and finish that one. No, oh, excuse me, I put all my plating in the system by mistake. Sorry about that, even for an update video, I'm not even prepared. So there we go. So now we have a conveyor port on this side and on this side, and the same with the ceiling panel. Uh, there's one on top, one on the bottom. And the next one is we have a six-way conveyor port, which, of course, I want to find some interesting way of doing it. Uh, hang on. I thought I'd just finish this inside instead of sleeping again. It was raining and hazy all day today, so I was trying to sleep in and try to get it going away, but that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, so six-way conveyor port, that's actually really handy. There's been a few times I wish I've had something like that. Uh, there has been also a, a few other things. One is, uh, if you look next to uh, hot bar slot number one, you'll see a one in the corner. We have multiple hot bars. You hold shift and push the number, so this is number one. Push two, you get second hot bar, third, fourth, and we have all the way up to zero. So we have ten hot bars, which is good. So on, uh, for instance, hot bar one, go in here, and you can have, let's say, all your conveyor stuff on here. And I think you can change it in here. Yes, you can. And on here, for instance, you could have like vehicle, vehicle stuff, so you don't have to keep dragging stuff out of the, the crafting or the build menu. For instance, get all your vehicle stuff in there and you can switch from one bar to the other. Another thing they added too is if you only want to use one item for instance, let's say you just want to put a uranium generator down and uh, you don't want to you don't want to take up any space on your hotbar even though I technically have it there. If you shift click, let's do something I don't have on there, the greenhouse. If you shift and click it'll give you, it'll allow you to place it but it won't take up any sp space in your hotbar. So that was another improvement that they did. Uh, and then uh, yeah, there was a uh, oh yes there is a uh, search now so we can go to generator and then it shows our four generators wheels uh, hover pads uh, we got the hover pad and hover jack and the hover pad we should be seeing bigger versions of these soon I don't know what I'm I'm gonna do with them but I'm sure I'll find something and then you can clear that there's been a few other fixes too. Uh, Another thing they actually added was uh, being a weather setting in like the custom menu. Let me get out of this for a second here. Okay, you actually have to hit escape to get out of there. All right, then uh, yeah, there's a few other uh, fixes like saving vehicle movement speed and unfinished work of printers when you reload. Uh, another thing they changed was fix the ghost, ghost block jitter. And that's when you go and try to place a block, but it's trying to snap to this side, but it's trying to snap to this side. It keeps bouncing back and forth and jitters. Uh, I'm sure if you watch any of the previous videos in the season, you probably see that happen many times because I've been known for it. Uh, fix occasional missing drop pod and other wreckage. Uh, what else? Randomly vanishing electricity connectors. And I've actually had that happen once. Yeah, in this world, in this map, not here, I was in the, I'm lost in my own lab here, in the main common area here, I had the two printers set up on the switchboard, that was feeding to another switchboard outside, which took up to the battery, yada yada yada, but the, the generator actually didn't get connected to the, the switchboard anymore. And then uh, a few other things like the center mass indicator, uh, misbehaving, I have no idea where it is in here anymore, uh, considering I've added conveyors and miners and, well, I thought I was in build mode. I uh, should have known that, but I don't see where it is now. It's somewhere. And uh, jetpack cover mode uh, wouldn't descend at max height. And yeah, the 
the only thing was uh, item dispensers being disabled on entering a vehicle. But anyways, I just want to get this update out for you guys. Uh, I plan on getting another video up in the next day or two. I got been getting some ideas, some great ideas, and what's one that should be interesting with something that we've gotten in this season, and some things I've learned at the end of last season. So we'll see how things go and go from there. Since I've got titanium, we are good to go. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.